Another viewer question. And this time is from Annie Ong. Hi Annie. How are you? How are you Annie? Are you okay? Annie? Are you okay Annie? Anyway, excuse me, Zach. Annie writes, I noticed that you have shade cloth over your plants. Do I need to do the same if I were to plant mine in the ground in the open? Thanks. Do you want to answer the question then? So the answer to that depends on many factors. So it's not really a straight yes or no question. Okay. So you have to ask yourself a few questions. The first of which is... <laughs> Does it get too hot in your area? Do plants burn in your area? Are your plants acclimatized yet? Do you have young plants? So these are only a few of the questions that you have to ask yourself because this would definitely influence the answer. First off, let's talk about uh, the age of the plant. Younger plants are more delicate and would need more protection from the sun. Mature plants on the other hand, they most likely have thick farina on their leaves, so that's their sunscreen, sun protection. Also mature plants are more likely to bounce back, more likely to recover from their sunburns compared to the younger plants. So sunburn can be fatal to, to, to smaller plants. As for climate and weather, you would need to know how hot it can get during summer in your area. Personally, as long as I know that the temperatures would go in the high 30s Celsius, let's say 35 or higher, I would consider adding a shade cloth. But if it doesn't go above that, then I don't have to. It also depends on the type of plants that you have. Some plants have thick farina or the waxy coating in their leaves. So this ones would definitely survive even high 40s. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. And lastly, your plants have to be sun hardened. And by that, when plants are sun hardened, it means that they are able to take the full exposure of the sun the whole day. The sun hardened plants would have thick waxy coating or the, the word that I keep repeating today, farina. They would have thick farina on their leaves and you'll, you'll notice it when you accidentally you know, just smudge the leaf, something comes off. On the other hand, if they don't receive enough sunlight, then the leaves will go all droopy and glossy, not enough the farina. So here's one of such plants with thick farina. This is a Cotyledon orbiculata or a pig's ear. As you can see, the leaves are white and if I rub it off, you can see that the white comes off. That's a farina and that is what's protecting them from the harsh sun. Once the farina is removed, does not regrow, what happens is it has to grow new leaves with thick farina to replace the older leaves. If you keep the whole plant in the shade without any sunlight, then the new leaves that it produces will not have any farina or just a thin layer of farina. Farina, 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 I keep saying farina. But if you gradually increase the sun exposure, then the newer leaves will have more farina. I said it again. They'll have more of the white stuff, the wax on their leaves compared to the older leaves. Of course, you have to increase the exposure gradually because otherwise you'll risk, you'll risk burning the plant. So that's something important to keep in mind. A rule of the thumb that I follow is that I increase the sun exposure by I don't know, an hour or so every two weeks and it seems to work for me but you know, in your area it might be different. Hi Zahak! <laughs> so just experiment with it and see what works for you. So to recap, if it gets too hot or if you're trying to protect young plants and if your plants are etiolated and have no the F word then yes, build a shade cloth. So until the next video, bye.